this lesson focuses on uh, rates. Rates are very close to uh, ratios. In fact, rates are a type of ratio. Now, here are some common rates that some of you, I'm sure, know about. So, you've seen speed limit signs. Well, miles per hour is a rate. And so, 50 miles per one hour, okay? Uh, 22 miles per gallon. So, for every one gallon, your car burns or your car travels 22 miles. Here's another common rate. Uh, you make $8.75 per hour when you work at a certain job. And here's a common rate for when a nurse takes your pulse. Uh, she's trying to see how many beats uh, your heart is beating as coming through your veins per minute. 64 beats per minute. Now, rates Here's our standard de definition. A rate is a type of ratio where two numbers are compared and the second number is one. So remember how a ratio was a comparison of two numbers. Now a rate is a comparison of two numbers, but that second number is one. So let's say a car was averaging 45 miles for every one hour the car drove. Well, this is a rate. This would be 45 MPH, but we can write it as a ratio, okay? Now in all, all rates, the second number is always equal to one. So 45 miles driven for each hour. We can put each before each of you know, whatever's being measured here, 45 miles per each hour, okay? Now we have to get used to the word per, which is uh, abbreviated as P in a lot of our standard uh, rates. So in 45 miles per hour, that P right in the middle of those three uh, initials, this always stands for per. Per is a common feature of rates per one hour. Okay, 62 beats per minute. The P stands for per. There's the heart. The heart beats 62 beats per minute. Okay, 62 beats per minute. Your heart beats 62 times for each one minute time period. If we wrote it as a ratio, 62 to 1. And then 62 beats to 1 minute. Now, here are some common rates. The average speed of a vehicle is miles per hour. Gas mileage is miles per gallon. Some of your parents might have a car that travels 22.4 miles per gallon. Our pulse rate is measured in beats per minute. The printing speed of your printer that's hooked up to your computer is pages per minute, so 16 pages per minute. The download speed of when you take things off the internet and download to your own computer, uh, it could be in kilobytes per second, let's say, 500, 512 kilobytes per second. And of course, those things change all of the uh, time. Now, the second to the last letter is P, which stands for per, and most rates are averages per one unit. Let's take gas mileage. Does a Toyota Prius burn the same amount of gasoline as a big work truck in the number of miles it goes? And the answer, of course, is no. Okay? So a, a traditional Prius may get 43 to 48 miles per gallon, whereas the big work truck might only get 8 to 13 miles per gallon. 
So if you're the one having to, you know, pay the money and you're just driving, let's say, to Riverside and back just to take someone someplace, I think you'd save a lot of money by driving the, the Prius because it gets so many miles per gallon. Okay? So let's say a particular Prius, for every one gallon of gas you put in the gas tank, it travels 45 miles. And a particular work truck, for each one gallon of gas you put in the gas tank, it goes 10 miles. So you're spending a lot of money here. Okay? Okay. For every one gallon of gasoline burned by your vehicle's engine, your vehicle travels blank miles. So this is what the rate of gas mileage uh, is written out as. Now here's a here's a standard rate question. Okay, we drive from Manifee to Santa Barbara. The total amount of miles is 220. The trip takes your parents about four hours. So we want to know what was the average speed of your trip. Okay, and so we have miles per hour and what that means is miles divided by your number of hours. Now here we have 220, 220 miles and we divide it by four hours. Okay. So if it traveled from Menifee to Santa Barbara in four hours and the total miles driven was 220. We take 220 divided by 4 is equal to an average speed of 55 miles per hour. For every one hour driven, the car averaged 55 miles. So here this rate is usually an average. Okay. Now let's let's go to uh, fair, fairly standard uh, miles per gallon or gas mileage uh, problem. Luke's family traveled to Charger Stadium and back. Now be careful about this and back. This is going to be a round trip to watch an NFL game. The one-way distance from Menifee to Charger Stadium was 72 miles. Now the question is, what was the gas mileage for the family car when 12 gallons were used on the round trip? Now it's tricky here because we see 72 and 12, but really the 72 is only one way from Menifee to San Diego. So what we have, have to do is if a one-way trip is 72, the round trip is 72 plus 72, the round trip is 144. So we're going to have 144 miles, okay? And then we divide it by the number of gallons that the car will use for those 144. When we divide, we're going to get 12 now watch this top one, miles, now this bar means per, and then the bottom, 12 miles per gallon. The car averaged 12 miles driven for every one gallon of gas used by the car's engine. Okay. Now lastly, let's do a beats per minute uh, question. At a doctor's office, the nurse takes a measurement of your pulse rate. The nurse counts 17 beats in 15 seconds. Now remember, beats per minute, a minute is 60 seconds. Okay? But this problem says there were 17 beats in 15 seconds. But we need to turn the 15 into 60 to get a minute. How does 15 turn into 60? Okay. 
Now, on the nurse's chart, it has blank BPM. What will the nurse write next to BPM on the doctor's chart? Now remember, M means minute, not seconds, but I only gave us seconds here. So we have to watch out. This M is equal to minute, we're only given seconds. So we ask ourselves, how many 15 second blocks of time divide evenly into one minute? Now we could go 60 divided by 15, or we could just say 15, 15, 15, 15. Oh, well there's 30, here's 30, Altogether, that's 60, that's four blocks of time, okay? Or we, if we have a calculator, 60 divided by 15 is four. So, what, what we do here is we say, if 17 beats took place in 15 seconds, we multiply the top and the bottom by four. And so we get 68 beats in 60 seconds, which is 68 beats for each one minute. For each minute, your heart beats 68 times. So the answer would be 68 beats per minute. And here's a little graphic here. 17 in the first 15 seconds, then in the next 15, the next 15, the next 15. We just take four 17s to get 68 because 15 goes into 60 four times. Okay? Hope you learned a lot about rates today. Thank you.